Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Stebbing. It is Stashing with Stephanie week where we bring you a brand new fat quarter friendly pattern. We already did that in the tutorial that we posted the other day. And now we're gonna talk through how we quilted it. And then later in the week, we are gonna have a chat with the designer of Homeward. And so it's really exciting. It's a fun week where we get to kind of see the entire process of quilting from designing the fabric to designing the quilt to how to quilt it in the end. Really give you guys a lot of ideas on how to do things at home. So this month, uh, like the last month, we had to get this done really quickly. Uh, we had quite the April here at Quilt Addicts Anonymous. Um, I had to take an unscheduled week off because my grandmother passed away. And then I had to get my third book turned in. And then I had to make this entire quilt from start to finish in one weekend. I got it done in two days uh, from cutting it all the way to binding at the end. So I picked a really fun design that is very whimsical and I like to go to whenever I want something that's kind of fun and flirty and also I need it to be quick. So this kind of a double loop and we're going to go through and kind of do a quilting play by play as you see it. Uh, before we get there we're going to talk about thread. So whenever I'm doing a quilt uh, that's all over a design like this, I wanna make sure that I pick something that's gonna blend with everything, but most importantly, blend with my background. Now I've got a super white background here, so I wanna make sure I picked a white thread. If I picked, say, a pale pink or something, then every time I went over this background, it would show up and it wouldn't blend anymore and create texture, it would create another design element. Now sometimes that can be exciting and it can be a a good design choice to make uh, but in this case that's not what I wanted I wanted the fabric to be the star of the show not the thread on my quilting especially since I wasn't doing any fancy quilting where I want to really show it off I just want to create some fun texture and this was also a fun one to do as well because we have all these circles in the peacock feathers and so it really kind of mimics that as it goes around so I thought this was a good choice for that now as usual I've used my glide and this one I use bone, so it wasn't like the white white, um, but this is color 17443, and I like to use the um, 40 weight in the polyester, and it has a sheen to it. I really like that sheen because one, it kind of hides away, especially on a quilt like this where I want it to, and also it kind of makes it very thin, so if you need to double up, you can, but otherwise it just creates some fun texture. I use the same color in the bobbin, um, especially when you're doing like white background. You do not want to have little pokies coming up from your bobbin thread, so avoid the temptation to try to match your bobbin thread to the back of your quilt uh, whatever you're using on your backing when you're choosing white and you have white background because what you're going to end up seeing like say you did purple for a purple backing is you're going to have little purple tiny dots everywhere because no matter how much we make our tension as good as possible it, I feel like you can never make it absolutely perfect when you're doing white and you're always going to end up seeing it so if you're doing white on top just just go with white and the bobbin it's going to make your life a lot easier all right so let's get in and let's do some quilting play by play. All right, so I'm gonna get started here just by doing a simple loop, and then I'm gonna go around again a little bit bigger and cross that. Then I go in the opposite direction, and I make that simple loop and go back around again. And I'm gonna keep doing that, changing directions with each loop, and just starting with a small loop and then going around with a bigger loop. And as long as you keep changing directions, you're really able to make this move around really well on your quilt. Now, if you notice, I went all the way down in the area that I'm able to quilt in, in my quilt throat, and now I'm making my way all the way back up. And I'm not going in a super straight line. There's some variation from left to right on that because I don't want it to look like straight lines when it's all done. But essentially, that's a really easy way to fill evenly in your space because I can go all the way down and then I can go all the way back up and I can keep changing directions with each one of those loops to make it easier to make it through. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing this and it's just doing that same stitch back and forth again. Little loop, big loop, and then go around. All right, here's another section where you can see I'm a little bit further along in that first pass. Uh, by the way, I didn't fussy cut any of those, so you're gonna have to make sure you watch the video tutorial to see that. 
All right, so here we are, we're starting the second pass. So you can see that I'm sort of quilting up to where we started, and I'm gonna make my way down as far as I can. And one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is you wanna try to keep your loops about the same size throughout your entire quilt, so that way you have balance throughout everything. All right, so we're gonna show you this next part. It's important because it shows how I kind of fill in up to the point where I left off. So we're gonna be about here, we've got our last little loop and now I'm coming up as close as I can to where I left off on that first pass and then I can fill in and move over. That way when you're looking at the quilt when it's all said and done it really looks nice and evenly filled and you can't easily tell just by looking at it where your starts and stops were for your rows. All right, here we are, we're a little bit further along. You can see those loops are still all about the same size. Sometimes my inner loops are a little bigger because you know, you're not a machine, you are a person hand guiding it, so it's not gonna be perfect. But you can see I'm working my way back up and filling in as much as I can and kind of just working my way around there. But this is just a super, super simple stitch. Um, it goes really fast and you're able to really just sort of rock and roll. I think I got this entire quilt up done. It was lap in about an hour and a half. And that was with taking breaks because I had staff working who had questions. So it probably was like about an hour of quilting time. And it really worked out really well um, for this particular fabric. Again, this one is great for kids quilts. It is great for anything whimsical. It's great for anything that you need to just get done fast. Um, it's really great for this particular one. I call it a double loop. I'm sure there's other names for it, um, but I think it's, it's just really a fun one to do and super fast and super simple. And as long as you're making sure that you're changing directions with every loop. So if I start going this way, then the next one, I'm going to go back that way. And then I'm just going to go the other way again and just keep rotating between clockwise and counterclockwise and you will be good to go. Um, the other thing is to try to make sure that you are keeping your uh, bobbles, your, your circles to be about the same size from top to bottom. A good way to do that if you have to stop and start in between, like say you start on one day and you're finishing another day, is to just throw your ruler on top of it, like your six and a half inch square ruler, and take a photo because then you have a good guide when you pick back up later if you can't remember and then you don't have to roll back to see where you were at. And also when you're getting started, that's also a good thing to practice um, and just check every once in a while to make sure you're about the same size as you're getting used to it. All right, well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope that you uh, have got some inspirations for some things that you can do. Hopefully next month I'll have some more time and we can show you some more challenging stuff. Um, but we all, even, you know, those, of, I've spent like 37 hours on one quilt and it was just absolutely stunning. But even if we're capable of doing that and, and quilting at that high of a level, we're not always able to do that because we don't always have the time constraints. So it's good to have a stitch like this in your wheelhouse to be able to pull out when you need it because you just need to get that quilt done. You got that baby shower or that wedding or whatever deadline it is that's coming up and you can just have a fun one like this. All right, so if you are not a member with Stash with Stephanie, you should be. You would have already gotten a bundle of this fabric and then you would have gotten a head start on ordering additional fabric so you can get your backing. You can get additional fabric so you can turn your bundle into a kit and they get an exclusive head start on that. And let me tell you, some of the fabrics were sold out before uh, they were able to, uh, we released it to everybody else who is a member. Some other things that you get are you get uh, free patterns every month Month that have been inspired by this. Every month I take the fabric and I try to come up with a pattern that makes the most of that fabric. And I'm really excited about this month's pattern. It's called All the Pretties because it's designed to be able to show off all those fabrics that are in your Too Pretty to Cut Up section, um, but without having to fussy cut. So I didn't fussy cut anything on this quilt and I was still able to get things like your peacocks right in the center. And that's just by doing a teeny little bit of planning and mindful cutting when we're cutting across some strip pieces. So this entire section here was strip pieced along with everything else here. So make sure you check out our video tutorial on how to piece this to get an idea on it. 
And again, that pattern is totally free. It's been inspired by the fabric and we do that every month you get a new one. Plus you get access to all of our previous Stash with Stephanie patterns and, that have come out. So that's always a great deal as well. It is over a $200 value now, I believe. So it's a lot that you get right when you join. And then also um, you get exclusive discounts on my book, Fat Quarter Workshop, which is a bestseller in the quilts and quiltings category on Amazon, which is super exciting. But you can get a signed copy from us for less if you become a member. Well, those are lots of great reasons to join. Again, we do sell a lot of this fabric, so that uh, head start is always a good deal, although we are trying to get a little bit better about making sure that everybody's able to get what they want. But usually we're pretty much sold out of almost everything by the end of the week after we release our fabric. And those Stash with Stephanie members get first dibs always on that. So definitely make sure you check that out. You can sign up for that over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. If you sign up by the end of the month, then your first bundle will come in the middle of May. If you sign up after May 1, then your first bundle won't come until June. So definitely make sure that you get in this month if you can so you don't have to wait as long for that first bundle because I know you guys get impatient and you just want that fabric because it's so pretty and it's so lovely. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to have another video later in the week with Monica, um, who designed this for Free Spirit. She's part of Anna Maria uh, Horner's conservatory group of designers. So if you like Anna Maria, you're probably going to like this too. I think it's really fun and beautiful, and the colors just work really well together, and that white background really allows them all to kind of have their own space and pop, and we really are able to show off our favorites in this design. All right, again, the pattern is called All the Pretties. You can get that and sign up for Stashing with Stephanie over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. And until next time, happy quilting.